Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in today's episode of The Complete Picture, we're going to take a look at how to reset the Photoshop Preferences file. Now, this probably isn't something that you'll do often, but every once in a while, if you find that a tool isn't behaving properly or something just doesn't seem right in Photoshop, you might want to reset the preferences. Now, there's two ways that we can do this, and we're going to go over both methods in this tutorial. The first way is to manually actually move this preference file. The second way is a little bit easier just because you use a keyboard shortcut, but it does have two drawbacks in that one, it resets more than just the preferences file, and two, you don't have a backup of the preference file in case that actually wasn't what was causing the problem. So let's start with method one. Method one, what you need to do is you need to manually move your preferences to another location. Now, I'm going to put them on the desktop today, but you could move them to any safe location on your drive where you know where they are. But how do you find them? Well, you can see on screen that depending on your operating system, you'll have to navigate to a different location. So let's take a look, for example, on Mac. Now, before we go to the Mac, you can see here that Photoshop is running. So I need to quit that because every time you quit Photoshop, it writes to your preferences file. So let's be sure that we go up under Photoshop and quit Photoshop. Then I'll navigate to the Finder. Now, we're going to need to find the library folder. But it's not the library folder under your hard drive. It's actually the library folder underneath your user. But you can see by default, I don't actually see a library folder here. And that's because on the more recent versions of OS X, Apple has hidden the library folder. I think the easiest way to find it is to hold down the Option key and then click the Go menu. Without the Option key, you'll see that the Library option disappears. But with the Option key, I can quickly select Library. So this hidden folder is the folder that we need to go to. Then we'll scroll down to our Preferences folder. And then we'll move over to the Photoshop CS6 preferences. So let's just make this a little larger to the settings here. That's the folder where the Photoshop CS6 prefs.psp file is. What I'll do is I will just drag this to the desktop. And I can do that by just clicking and dragging right here. And we can see there are the preferences. Because once we take it out of this folder, Photoshop will no longer see it. Now, let's return back to the slide so that we can see on Windows 7 where you need to navigate to. So again, you'd go to your users, to the username, app data, to roaming, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop CS, here I have CSX, but it's CS5 or CS6, and then Adobe Photoshop CSX settings. If you're on Windows 7, you're going to need to move both the Photoshop CSX preferences.psp file and the Adobe Photoshop X64 CS Prefs PSP file. You can move those to the desktop like we did or to any other safe location. On Windows XP, you'll want to navigate to your Documents and Settings, Username, Application Data, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop CSX, and then Adobe Photoshop CSX settings. And again, you're going to move both that Adobe Photoshop CSX Prefs.psp file and the Adobe Photoshop X64 CSX prefs.psp file to your desktop. And if you only see one of those files, um, just move the single file. It means that you've probably been running Photoshop only in 64-bit or only in 32-bit. But if you see them both, move them both. If you only see one, just move the one that you see. And then you simply restart Photoshop. And when you restart Photoshop, all of your preferences will be returned to their defaults. Now. What happens next? Well, if the problem's resolved, we would actually really like for you to zip that corrupted preference file and actually start a new discussion topic on the uh, website feedback.photoshop.com. That way our engineers can take a look at it and try to figure out what it is that's going wrong. If the issue's not resolved with the new preferences, then I would quit Photoshop, Go ahead and return the preferences back to their original locations. And then I would visit Jeff Tranberry's blog for further troubleshooting suggestions. And you can see the URL there is adobe.ly Jeff's Basic Troubleshooting. 
All right, let's take a look now at method two. We can reset the Photoshop preferences via a keystroke, but this not only clears out the preferences file, you can see the list here of other items that it clears out. So the com.adobe Photoshop P list, the color settings, the keyboard shortcuts, your workspace, and your Photoshop preferences. So what this means is if you have made changes to your workspace or your keyboard shortcuts or your color settings that you haven't saved out explicitly from that dialog box, like under workspace, you would have to save that out or under color settings, you would save out your settings. If you haven't saved those, then removing these files will also remove those preferences. All right, so how do we do this? Well. Just like the first method, you're going to want to quit Photoshop first. Photoshop cannot be running, so make sure that it is not running. Then you want to get ready to hold down the keyboard shortcut because it's not just one keyboard modifier, it's three of them. So on the Mac, it would be Command, Option, and Shift. On Windows, it's going to be Control, Alt, Shift. Now, you just want to get ready to hold those down, and then you're going to need to launch Photoshop. And you can open this from a variety of places. For example, we can launch Photoshop using the dock on the Mac, or we can go to our Applications folder and launch it there. On Windows, you can single click the Photoshop icon on your taskbar or in the Start menu, or you can go to the Photoshop application in your Programs files. So it's up to you, but you have to have, like, have your fingers on, that, on those keys because immediately after you click to launch the application, you have to hold down all three of those keys, but you can't hold them down before you launch it. Right? So if I navigate and I come down to my dock, I'm going to have my fingers on the keys, I'm going to click the Photoshop icon and immediately hold down that shortcut. And if I've done it correctly, I will get this dialog box to delete the Adobe Photoshop settings file. When I click yes, Photoshop will go ahead and delete that entire set of preferences. Then it's going to ask me another question when I like to migrate the presets and I'm going to go ahead and choose no for now because I can always do that at a later time anyway. All right, let's go back. All right, again, if that dialog box does not come up, you're going to need to quit Photoshop and try that shortcut method again. But once you have successfully reset those settings using the keyboard shortcut method, then you'll have your new set of preferences and you can determine whether or not the preferences were causing the issue. And just another reminder, of course, if you did have um, preferences such as your scratch disks or other preferences for type or anything, you'll need to reset up those preferences because obviously we've just replaced them with a clean set. So there you have it. Now you know how to reset your preferences using the first method, which is manually moving that preference file, or with the second method using the keyboard shortcuts. My name's Julianne Cost. Thanks for joining me.